Tomorrow, Spokane will be one of dozens of communities across the country with a woman's march. KXY 4's Jack Ferris working for you with more on what we can expect to see. Jack? Yes, Nadine, and roughly 2,000 people are expected to join the Women's March, which is actually a women's march in name only. It's our way of making our voices heard and of showing that we do matter. Three time zones away from Donald Trump becoming America's 45th president, small groups all over the country are preparing for the Women's March, a peaceful protest against the nation's executive branch. There's a lot of things to be discouraged about, you know, with some of the statements. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to repeat them, but we've, we've all heard them. And that's really, it's a terrible thing to think about, that the leader of the free world is saying such terrible things about women, and we just kind of... You know, it just kind of is what it is, and he's our president now. So I feel like, you know, with now, it's our obligation to try to hold, try to hold that office into account. The event will be facilitated by the Spokane Area National Organization for Women, and all are invited. We see ourselves as an organization that strives to fight for the rights of all marginalized groups, particularly people of color in the LGBT plus community. So um, it's important for women to participate, but it's also important for all groups to participate that experience oppression and discrimination. For a long time to be a feminist, there was a stigma associated with that. And I think everybody that, that values human rights and equality should be proud to call themselves a feminist. And in fact, you know, Barack Obama did the same thing. He was proud to call himself a feminist, and so am I, and um, all of my friends. Now for more information on how you can join the march, visit womensmarchonspokane.org or visit their Facebook page. Reporting from studio, Jack Ferris, KXOY4 News.